everybody, this is Ansley Downs from the Keller Williams Go Getter Team. So today, I am going to talk about the difference between FHA and conventional loans. So I get that question a lot because more buyers are using FHA and conventional over VA or USDA loans. So an FHA loan, the significant difference is that the down payment for an FHA is a 3.5%. And for a conventional loan, it's a 3%. So for example, you purchase a $200,000 house, for an FHA loan, you have to put down $7,000. For a conventional loan, you can actually put down $6,000. Another difference is that a lot of condominiums don't accept FHA loans, they accept conventional loans. Also, for conventional loans, you can use them for second mortgages and investment properties. Another difference is that for FHA loans, the interest rates are typically lower. So for example, we actually got an update on mortgage rates this week. FHA were at like a 2.3% and conventional was at a 2.7% plus. Now it goes up. Um, another difference is that, uh, I mean, they're both really good loans. It's just that uh, conventional loans, they're a bit more strict with the credit guidelines. Uh, you'll see higher interest rates for lower credit borrowers. But a great thing about conventional loan is when you are paying for a mortgage, you're paying for four things, right? So you're paying, we actually call it pity. That's what we called it in real estate school. It's your principal, your interest, your taxes, and your insurance. So when you're looking at houses and you're like, okay, Zillow or all these different websites give you a estimate of how much your actual mortgage would be, they don't include all factors of that mortgage. For a conventional loan, once you get to a 20% loan to value, what that looks like is, say for instance, here's an example, you purchase a house for $300,000. You actually pay the principal all the way, all the way down to $240,000. So you paid off $60,000 of that principal. You now only have to pay principal interest taxes your private mortgage insurance falls off. So for the rest of the loan, you do not have to pay mortgage insurance. But for FHA loans, you are actually going to pay mortgage insurance for the life of the loan. So they both have their perks. It's completely up to you which loan you want to choose if you get approved for both. Some people don't get approved for both, but they're both good loans. They have just their significant differences, like I said, with interest rates, and with uh, credit guidelines, and then also with the private mortgage insurance, and then also again with conventional, you act actually could purchase more property, uh, especially if you're an investor or if this is your second home. So there are significant differences. You just have to be the buyer to select which option is the most beneficial for you and your needs. We often get the question about which loan should I get? And it's completely up to you. The lender will run your numbers. They'll show you what, what each mortgage would look like for each loan. And then you just completely decide. You decide what works for you. So that is the differences between the two loans. I hope that helps. If you have more questions, you know who to call. Amsley at the Go-Getter Team. And I'll talk to you guys later.